15 days before Election Day, voters are already voting in Wisconsin. That's right. Early voting started this morning, and municipal clerks and poll workers tell us they were busy all day. Fox 11's Chad Doran has more as you decide 2012. In-person absentee voting began Monday morning. Voting booths have taken over City Hall in Appleton. It has been a nice steady stream. City Clerk Sharp Peterson says voting early is becoming a trend. It seems every four years, every presidential election, it becomes a little more popular each time. Peterson says turnout for the first day of early voting has been steady throughout the day. She says thousands could come out to cast their ballot before Election Day. They're thinking there will be 33% of the people voting absentee this election. If that's the case, that would be a little over 11,000 for the city of Appleton compared to a little over 9,000 in 2008. Can Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan call on your support November 6th? At Republican and Democratic headquarters in Appleton, volunteers are urging voters to get to the polls early. Very important. Uh, we got to get the message out. We got to get our supporters out to vote. We got to remind them the date. Um, vote early. They're grateful that we're letting them know that, that they can get to the polls early. And that's what I'm going to do when I leave here. Voters say they appreciate the chance to cast their ballot before Election Day. To avoid the rush, we typically vote early, yeah. I think it's more leisurely, and I also uh, think it's a very efficient way of doing it. Peterson says the city has already received more than 2,200 absentee ballots by mail. She says dozens of volunteers will staff City Hall until early voting ends on November 2nd. That's what we're here for. We're, we're here to help them. They can call or stop down, um, and please be patient. In Appleton, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Are you wondering where to vote or how to register? Well, you can find all of that information on our website, fox11online.com. Check out the Fox 11 News Link section. You'll find a link to myvote.wisconsin.gov, and there you'll find all the information you need to vote.